I think uh, certainly we were influenced by Carl Furster in Germany and Mien Rauss, who did gardens very similar to what we were doing. A different scale, much smaller scale, because they were working in Europe, but uh, in much smaller gardens. Uh, I think the thing about our work was it was a, an American scale, and that's why it was called the New American Garden. It was a scale that no one had really seen before and made big news because of that. Carl Furster was the first, um, he was a nurseryman, and he was the first person to design with grasses and uh, became very famous because of that. He found that grasses uh, could be used in an ornamental way. And he was on a train, the story is that he was on a train going to Denmark when he saw a column of grasses growing along the tra ra railroad tracks. And he pulled the chain and stopped the train and got out and pulled out the grass, the, col the column of grasses. And that's the column of grasses, Carl Furster. And, uh, now it's used, widely used, I mean, every, everybody's using it, but uh, it's beautiful, it's very wheat-like, and very, it's erect and very straight and vertical. So we went to Potsdam uh, shortly after the wall came down and visited Carl Furster's uh, wife, who was still living then, had tea and looked at her, that, the Carl Furster garden, which was very beautiful, it was perennials, uh, Japanese maples, grasses, and it had a lovely uh, lily pool in the middle. And uh, it was simply wonderful and a great inspiration. Now another person who was inspired by Carl Furster uh, was uh, Roberto Burlemarx. And I visited Roberto in 1987 for three weeks. And that was a life, sort of a design life changing experience. Uh, it was simply wonderful. Roberto was effusive in his description of his gardens. He took me into the mountains to see several private gardens, and we also went to his house for a big Sunday party that he had every two weeks. <laughs>